Hi and welcome back to part two of this vlog of behind the scenes at Kettering Park. Uh, let's get straight into it. So when it comes to the wedding ceremony, I still have the same setup that I do in my bridal prep. So that's my main camera 5D Mark III with my 24 to 105mm L lens. And also my secondary camera with uh, a 50mm lens as well. And we are here today to witness the marriage. So this is my absolute favourite location to stand during the ceremony. Now if I've got the blessing from the registrars, I can move around which is great. But sometimes they can be a little bit of a problem. Um, I completely understand they're in charge. It's a legal document they're signing so I, I can't move too much. So I completely understand that. Um, but this is my absolute favourite location because I'm I'm in front of the bride and groom. I can capture unique moments where they just look at each other. So if you're a wedding photographer who's just starting and is watching this for some advice, my biggest advice is to stand right there. Not too close, but close enough. Uh, okay, is this on? Yep, <laughs> it, it, it is, yep. <laughs> so this is a real cool moment during the day where uh, the bride and groom's uh, kids wanted to do this wonderful speech of the day and the kids were just laughing and giggling. Going back to my last vlog, I always would say, look, always keep your eyes open and be ready for the unexpected. Now, believe it or not, I did not know this was going to happen. They did not tell me. I usually have a meeting beforehand where I talk to the bride and groom, how the day is going to go, what's going to happen, uh, especially the times as well. So at least we're all on the same page. Now, this one threw me. Um, apparently, the kids um, only told the mum and dad uh, the day before they're going to do something special. So uh i don't know how they organize that one but fair play to them but this is another good example it's just like really be ready for the unexpected especially if you really don't know what's going to happen now i'm so glad and proud that i got these shots so you can obviously see uh, i haven't moved too much away from that location to which i said it was the best place to be this is a really good angle because this is the moment, uh, the crucial moment of the wedding where the vows are going to be said. So if you are going to move around, and I do suggest you do move around, but make sure you have one location at the front because when it comes to the important parts of the ceremony, you want to be back in that location. And please repeat after me. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. And this is why you're in that location for shots like this. I love how the light is just holding the bride and groom and, that, and especially how the bride is really looking at the groom. Now as soon as the vows have been said and what usually comes after that is the uh, signing of the register. Now by legal reasons I cannot be around while this is taking place. So what we usually do in the UK is uh, I will just excuse myself for a little while while they fill out the proper paperwork once that bit is done the registrars will tell me to come over and we can do a, a stage a mock signing where we get all the family and friends involved and this is what this moment is now this is a, a group family friends photo where we're just pretending to sign the registrar okay. oh, she's quite high. do you want to come around here my darling that's it. Don't worry, she's not going to take your light away. That's it, that's it. A little bit back, a little bit back, a little bit back, a little bit back. Bless you. Okay, is everyone ready? Everyone look at me. <laughs> keep looking, keep smiling, keep looking, keep smiling. Keep smiling. Keep looking at me, keep smiling. Let me check it. Yeah, boy. Right. right, as soon as everyone has signed the register and the family have took in their own photos with their mobile phones, this is where I make my other way down to the other side, get this image of them walking towards me with the confetti thrown in the air. This is another image you do not want to miss, so you have to be ready for this you know it's coming because after the register has been signed, this is gonna happen next.
So here I am moving quickly just to get these unique, relaxed, intimate moments. And yes, you've got to be quick. You've got to move quickly. Now these are the registrars leaving right now and I always like ask them, do I do all right? Do I do all right? Yeah, oh bless you, take care. Uh, the reason I ask them is because they, like I said before in the beginning, they are in charge and I just don't want to do anything where I might upset them. And the good thing is uh, I'll meet these ladies again and if they already know what I, how I work and I've built up a good rapport with them, it just makes my next wedding a lot, lot easier. Now, this situation happened now while we're walking through the hotel was a surprise for the groom. Now, the bride phoned me about a month before the wedding where she told me I've got this idea I've got this surprise the groom doesn't know anything about it can we do it and I said yes we can definitely do it now what's gonna happen is the groom's gonna go into a vehicle that he absolutely loves and this is the moment where he's just realized what's gonna happen yes he's getting in a Volkswagen camper van <laughs> now these, this is why I always try and work really close, just in case uh, there's a surprise that happened. This is why I work really close with my bride and groom, because if I did not know this was going to happen, I would have missed it, and that would have really bothered me. So this was just, uh, yeah, a moment for themselves, where the whole day they're going to be with their family and friends, so they just want to have a moment for themselves, and I told them, and I truly agree with that. I'll just do some photos indoors and it's all yours, yes, mate. Yeah. So I just did a few photos here of them with their drinks and getting relaxed, uh, yeah, taking in what's it. just happened. Like, They've just cover? become husband and wife. Lovely jubbly. That's it. Okay, keep looking, keep smiling, keep looking, keep smiling, keep smiling, keep smiling, keep smiling. So once I've done the photos, I've gone <laughs> yeah, back inside to get some more candy photos of the, <laughs> of the guests. Yeah. And also, I had a little quick talk with a bridesmaid, who was also part of this They're plan. gone. They're gone. Was that a surprise? Yeah. Was it lovely? Yeah, he said, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was shocked. Got it. <laughs> right, as soon as they got back, they were gone for about half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, the, the driver told me they're back, so I can get ready to take some photos of them with this lovely camper van. So, because I know it was a big Look part, a big it. surprise. I really wanted it to be in their photo. So, this is where we had a moment where we just did a photo shoot with the camper van. It was so much fun. <laughs> I love this image so much. So now we're coming to the family that's it, photo that's it, shoot that's now. It. Hold that, hold that. Keep looking, keep smiling. Keep looking, now, keep smiling. These can be fun and also difficult. Uh, the reason they can be fun and difficult is because there's lots of kids, they don't always apply, so I just try and make it fun as possible, which is basically, like I said in my first uh, part one of this vlog, is get the children to be children and get them to be silly, so blowing raspberries, anything just to get them on board, just... What I do is, once I've taken a photo, I tell the kids to come and have a look, look at the photo and get them involved, get them there, so they're like taking the photo themselves as well, so they've got their influence into it. No, oh, that's a beautiful spot. Right, oh, sorry boss, there you go. Smashed it. Smash that one. Oh, look, no, 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 they're kissing you. <laughs> and this is when the kids started screaming and they just realised that mum and dad are kissing <laughs> and everyone was just really excited and everyone was just getting involved which is great because we then moved into the couple shoot of just the two of them and this is a great lovely moment between them both yes the kids are screaming behind me but it's part and parcel of the job and it's a lot of fun actually everyone feels relaxed and comfortable so it's all good in my opinion <laughs> and we just managed to get this lovely shot of them both. <laughs> let me have a look, let me have a look. Oh yes, I love it, I love it. Right, let's do some more photos. Do you want to get up? 
Now I had one more idea for one more great family photo shop. Now if you're ever struggling, if they're not sitting down, if they're not behaving, just tell the whole family to hold hands. Yeah, in a line. And just tell them to walk towards you and just take photos and just be natural with it. I hope part two of this vlog is giving you some good insights and helped you in any way on how I do my work and hopefully it's giving you some good tips and ideas for other photographers out there that is just starting.